first-time users of Unifier should make sure that they run through the first-time user setup guide to make sure that the program will run properly in their browser. This video is to show how to properly go through and set up your browser for Unifier. The first thing we're going to do is we're going to click this cog and go to Internet Options. When you do that, you're going to click Settings and check for newer versions of stored pages every time I visit the web page. We're going to want to allot at least 1000 megabytes of disk space to make sure that everything runs smoothly. Click OK to confirm. You're going to click delete and preserve favorites and website data and temporary internet files and website files. Both boxes should be checked and click delete. After completing that, you're going to go to tabs and then you're going to click when a pop-up is encountered, let Internet Explorer decide how pop-ups should be opened. From there, you're going to go to security, internet, and you're going to set the level to medium and then click custom level. From here, you're going to want to make sure that downloads, the file downloadability is enabled. You're going to go farther down and then you're going to go allow websites to open windows without address or status bars enabled. Display mixed content prompted. Enable, enable the pop-up blocker which is down here and that will be it for this part. Click OK to confirm and then go to privacy. From here you're going to set it to medium and you're going to click turn on pop-up blocker and settings. And you're going to add two sites by typing in asterisk.ais.msu.edu and then clicking add and then doing the same for unifier.msu.edu. When you're done, click OK and go to advanced. Under advanced you want to make sure you're going to go down to security. You're going to check do not save encrypted pages to disk. Empty temporary internet files and folder when browser is closed. Enable integrated Windows authentication. Use SSL 2.0, use SSL 3.0, and use TLS 1.0. After that, click Apply and OK, and you should be set up to use Unifier.